Is your Fire Stick remote not working? Tired of it never pairing to your Fire Stick? Do you feel like smashing it or throwing it across the room? Well boy, do I have a video for you. Welcome back everybody, Upgrade Guy here. So that's right, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to fix any issue you might be having with this piece of remote. And I've said it before, I do not like the stock remotes that come with these devices and particularly with the Fire Stick and the Google Chromecast, there has been tons of issues with connectivity over the years. So we're gonna be going through multiple steps you can follow in order to get this remote back and working like normal. Of course, if you want, there's other options for remotes. You can get a little USB connector, which I'll go over in a little bit, which allows you to connect a third party remote, which will make the overall experience easier. But if it's your first time setting up your Fire Stick, then you probably will need this remote working and we'll go through every step you can follow in order to get that done. Like always guys, smash that subscribe button down below. It really does help the content. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which version of Fire Stick you're using. As well guys, if you want, you can follow us on our different social medias. We have our Facebook support group linked down below and it's pretty much free support for anyone. You can ask me or the community any question. We also have our Twitter, Instagram, and Reddit community linked down below as well. Make sure you follow us to stay up to date with all the latest streaming news. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we'll get started with step number one. Now, step number one, of course, is if your remote is not pairing with your device on the startup screen. So on the startup screen, it will ask you to pair your Fire Stick remote. Now, all you have to do for this step, and it's really as obvious as you can think it is, and just remove the batteries from the back of your Fire Stick remote. So we're gonna give it a little tappy tap, get those out, get them thrown in the air. That is all good. Batteries are out. Now we want to wait around 60 seconds. It fully recycles uh, the remote, so it loses all its uh, reserve power, uh, which is going to fully reset the connection uh, ability of the remote and hopefully fix your problem right away. So once the 60 seconds is up, just put your batteries back in, put your cover back on, and then just try to repair your remote by holding, of course, that home button like it prompts you to do. Now I do find sometimes you have to press the home button a few times and then hold it. And sometimes you just have to hold for like 40 seconds. It's really, really touchy um, and it's the major downside. So just keep pressing and then hold that button down. This is the newer remote, but it'll look essentially the same on yours and until you get that pair icon. Now, if that doesn't work, we're gonna move to step number two and we'll try to combine two things to get your Fire Stick remote paired. All right, so now moving on to step number two. Now, step number two is kind of similar. So we wanna look at the actual Fire Stick itself. And I would do this actually while you're doing step number one, but sometimes step number one works by itself. So we don't have to worry about it. We can leave your Fire Stick plugged into HDMI. So leave this part plugged in. We simply wanna remove the power for 60 seconds. So same thing, do it the same time as your remote and let all of the power cycle through and then reset them at the same time and see if you can now pair your remote from that start screen. Now, of course, if you can't get to that screen or let's say um, you had already set up your Fire Stick, you can still try the same pairing method and it might work. So just keep that in mind while you're trying this. All right, so now we have step one and two didn't work. We're gonna kind of combine everything with an extra step in order to make sure we can get your remote repaired. Now, I should have mentioned before, make sure your batteries are actually charged, guys. I feel like that's probably a common problem. All right, so now let's go to step number three. We're going to start by again removing power from your fire stick so you can remove that power keep it plugged into the hdmi guys it will make things a little bit easier later on now on our remote what we want to do is take our remote and we're going to see a few different buttons here so we have the back button right here as you guys can see it we have the menu button which is those three lines and then we have the left button right here so left and when it's facing you so it'd be this one right here what we want to do is hold all three at the same time so i'll try to show you guys just like that so the left button, the home, the back button, and the menu button, all at the same time. And we're gonna hold that for 12 seconds. Now you might start to see some blinking on your remote. That is perfectly fine. Now, once you hold it for 12 seconds, or if you wanna be safe, hold it for 20, uh, whichever you wanna do, we're gonna unhold it. We're gonna remove the batteries. Ah, and we're gonna put them down. 
Now, once that's done, we can leave everything unplugged. I would just leave it for five minutes, go make yourself a tea, coffee, whatever you want. Come back, plug your fire stick back in, leave it for one to two minutes. So just let it boot up, let it do its thing. So don't touch it, you'll see it pop up on the screen, all good. From there, we wanna go ahead and put the batteries back in our fire stick. Make sure you waited the time for your fire stick first. Put those batteries back in, have your fire stick remote ready to go. And then we just wanna try the same pairing method by just holding down the home button. Now, once again, this may take a little bit of time, so be patient, hold down that home button and let it do its thing. We can see the pairing happening right there with the light. So let it connect to the fire stick now and hopefully you'll be good to go. Now we're gonna move on to the last thing I suggest doing um, in order to fix your fire stick remote situation. This one is really important, so make sure you watch to the end and you'll probably even find out something you didn't even know about your fire stick. So let's get to step number four. All right, so now time for step number four. Now this one actually does not involve the Amazon remote at all. And that's the best part of this step is we get to get rid of that pesky trash Amazon Fire Stick remote. And we get to replace it with any kind of keyboard remote we want. All of the ones I suggest are linked down below from cheap to expensive, plus the accessory you need in order to get this remote set up. And it's not via Bluetooth. So there is no pairing that you have to do. All you'll need is your Fire Stick right here and your power plug-in for your Fire Stick. So what you're gonna do is take your Fire Stick and we have this little accessory that's around $4 off Amazon. Once again, link down below so you can buy the correct product if you want. We're gonna plug this into the Fire Stick's power outlet. So now we have two different dongles hot holding off of our Fire Stick. Now what we wanna do is take our usual Fire Stick power, plug it into the dongle right here, and now we'll have Fire Stick will have power going to the fire stick while also having this extra little accessory here, which we can then take the USB receiver from a keyboard remote and plug directly into here. And of course this can be used for USBs as well. So it really is a nice accessory. We plug it in and we're good to go. We'll now be able to use our keyboard remote to navigate around our fire stick and even use the nice touch screen with a little mouse on it in order to move around. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope this video was helpful. I tried my best to bring you guys the newest, most up-to-date information on any tutorials or fixes for Fire Stick, Android boxes, Nvidia Shield, Chromecast, any streaming device, you guys have it, we name it, we do the videos on it, and we teach you how to use them. Make sure you guys follow us on our social medias one more time. It really helps me out a ton. It helps you guys get the most up-to-date information. They are all linked down below, guys. Twitter, Instagram, we have our Reddit community um, where there's tons of great information. Uh, and we have our Facebook support group, which is free. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below. I will catch you guys in the next video.